Welcome back everyone to TNO The Last Season of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mao Zedong Lover, but we're doing socialist agriculture, finally. Um, after basically defeating the capitals economically, politically, and ideologically, the base developed a new basis for the relatively stable development of agricultural production by creating farmland construction on an unprecedented scale. After overcoming the right-leaning conservative ideology and breaking the bottleneck of agricultural technology, a situation of leaps and bounds in agricultural production emerged, with the output of farming products increasing exponentially, several times dozens and tens of times which further promoted the liberation of people's minds and the struggle for a good agricultural harvest. A great collaboration broke the boundaries of the community, township, and county, and militarization of organization, combat of action, and collectivization of life became an expected mass behavior. All these achievements enable us to solemnly declare that a new social agricultural climax is coming to the whole base area with unstoppable momentum. Armored. Through studying the Soviet and German battlefields in World War II, it's easy to see that the core of modern land warfare still armored forces. Since the establishment of the army, our army has not been in a position to create a real armed force, but with the promising results of academic work on the front, we believe that the time is ripe to promote the armored PLA, self-propelled heavy firepower. Compared with traditional artillery, self-propelled artillery have better mobility, and the construction of heavy self-propelled firepower uh, will be an indispensable part of the modernization process of our army. The Poles pacify Kazakhstan. All right, well. Um... And then uh, modern army. The goal of modernizing the army is still a long way off, but with the guidance of the scientific thinking, we'll create a division that could be called upon to fight and win. So right now we're stuck here because Red Talon does not exist. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do this earlier or not, which sucks. Um, I want to do this, but we can't. Victory in Southeast. Our work in Southeast Asia has already yielded gratifying results, and the red regimes have virtually grown up in Southeast Asia like a mushroom. The conditions are ripe for the Hainan branch to remove its disguise and unite the sister regimes in Southeast Asia. The goal of this member in the Southeast Asian near rear resources of the Cobra Spirit has been achieved. So, I'm not sure what to do. Also, I did use a slight consequence to see about the debt. Now, I lowered our debt just a little bit using consequence. Not very much, just a tiny bit, because we have a big old deficit. And I knew with these, I haven't even done some of these focuses, because it just costs us $2 billion, which we don't have. Which would tank our economy like crazy, so. I think using consequence is okay for now, but like... I'm not sure about this whole Thailand thing. I'm not sure when they're supposed to explode, so we'll see. I hope they explode soon, but uh, you never know. We have arts of policy, the four cleanups, which will be removed uh, by April next year, which really sucks. But heard of the Great Leap Forward is doing better. Um, but yeah, economy's looking 4.8%. It's not bad, but you know, we'll see. <clears throat> In the end, overthrow of Sehanouk. Prince Sehanouk's hope of a diplomatic check on the expansion of communist forces in Southeast Asia failed. The Japanese government was angered by Sahanuk's weakness and ordered General Lon Nol of Cambodia to take over the country's power immediately at present. Sahanuk is imprisoned in the palace. Once news of the coup broke out, Cambodia was immersed in dismay and anger. Sahanuk's unparalleled prestige in the country brought countless anti government rebellions to the new Cambodian government. Although Lon Nol publicly promised to guarantee the prince's safety and his future political participation, and nothing to turn the tide. Scholars are modest, soldiers are arrogant. I didn't realize that we, had, we unlocked this GUI thing, so I'll, uh, let me explain this real quick. So. Um, so you can have revolutionary stuff, or you can have ri people rise up here if we need to. Um, I, the focus said we need Red Thailand, so I thought Thailand had to explode. Um, but uh, not so much. It's Cambodia, not Red Thailand, but Cambodia that you need, so that's why I was really confused. And uh, so basically you can improve the situation, increase the friendliness, friendship modifier. Uh, you can do trade. So basically this will just start giving us, like, goods, such as guns, light equipment, heavy equipment, manpower, stuff like that, which we'll see in just a little bit, um, for trade. So you want to do this because you have to get to 60% first, though, so it takes a while to build friend friendliness, but then the Japanese get um, suspicious of us. And then there's a uh, decrease the alert index of 5%, and stop it, then increase it by 30% as well. So basically you want to do all those areas, and also this stuff over here tells you, like, oh, two stars gives you plus a certain amount of population of guns or whatever, luxuries or money or stability. Um, depending on what they have down here, which I think is really awesome. I just wish I realized this earlier. It's not the dev spot. It's completely my fault for not realizing this at all. So that's completely my fault. Um, so my apologies. I was like, what the heck is going on? We are a little bit in the past as well. So you can see right now, we can select to Vietnam. And we do one more thing for equipment, and then we can launch a revolution here in Vietnam. So we're trying to just blow up everything here. So liberation is impossible. Not super for trade partner in Laos, which sucks about Cambodia. We just fired off. Uh, Vietnam is super important. Uh, Taiwan, you can't liberate, unfortunately. Um, so this stuff is really cool. I can't deliver Indonesia, Malaysia, Malaya, uh, Thailand. So that's how I was really confused. And Burma's already didn't take care of, but we sent. We are now seeing divisions over here, even though we are a little bit in the past, just so because I didn't know what I was, I was doing. So, um, but now I kind of do. So I apologize uh, for uh, not knowing exactly what to do. But then again, this is my first time with this mod. So um, let's go right here. Start beating the crap out of these people. That Hamburg. Not like we have plans either. So, but whatever. And what are we going to do? Hopefully cut these divisions off. Heck and land. So there's that one. Oh, it says Cambodia. But it says Red Thailand. So my bad. Victory in Southeast. 
What you can do and help it help it as well. Uh, just do that. Destroy those divisions if you can. Imperial Army Coup, of course, over there. I like I said earlier, I didn't use cons commands to lower our debt of GDP ratio just because it's just way too high. And there's nothing we could have done, especially trying to do all these focuses, so. An infantry division goes bye bye? Yes! I do like that a lot. Ah, did you learn something? Pretty good. Then bow, yow. Let them spread out this way too, I don't care about that. Uh, just defend too. We got a lot of divisions coming in, so. Oh, they're attacking over there as well, huh? Oh, Cambodia. Christ is in Nanjing. Um, becoming a cavalry leader, even though we go cavalry right now. So, it is what it is. We have Fong Fen. I mean, we can take that out. Well, that might capitulate them. It might not. What well, happy uh, November now, everybody. I apologize for not knowing how to do this. Praise them, because we love Mao. Mao Mao. Uh, oh god. That's not good. Maybe to get it might just be enough to capitulate them, maybe. Yeah, it is. Nice. See what you can do. Phnom Phnom Phen. I never know, I know how to pronounce any of this stuff. Ah, division. So I'm not doing so well right now. Which does kind of suck. Might be able to get it, might not, so. And what is this? Increase all that stuff. Not bad. Um, that one actually did give us a little bit better luck with reserves, which makes me feel better overall. Um, they have auto class ranks. I do want to get more reserves, so. Because this one. Uh, no, it's not that one. Because the two have capitalism, reducing more inflation. Let's do that one. Even though we don't get reserves, we do reduce inflation, which is at a pretty 4%, which is not bad. Not great. Internal moderate, moderate service, okay. There we go. Well, if you really want to help out right there, that's fine too. Just destroy the party over there. I mean, it doesn't really hurt us that much. A little bit less growth, but who cares about that? Um, over here, not bad. Point three is not bad. So, hey, but like we said earlier, or saw earlier, probably better agriculture method is pretty decent to have too. Pretty decent. Buzz bread, we thank thee. Doesn't help us out that much right now, but that's still okay. Oh, so you just do that and go there. Um, ah. new month. Praise ourselves. We're at sixty percent. Nice. And I'm pretty much do this every single month. Open, open. No trade routes here. Uh, we're improving trade. They're pretty alert. We're pretty good about that. Laos is impossible. Uh, so we can do this, and we can launch this. So I want to launch this. We're not going to launch it right now. Uh, the political turmoil in Saigon provided a perfect opportunity for the Viet Minh to attack. In less than a week, the Viet Minh captured Hanoi, an important city in northern Vietnam. Ngo, Ngo Dinh Diem's unruly approach to government and the deteriorating anti-communist situation infuriated the Japanese government. And the Japanese envoys arrived in Hue on the night the Viet Minh and captured Hanoi for urgent talks with the Vietnamese top brass. The old master couldn't sit still. Keep training as much as you can. Um, over here we have got a lot of stuff. And also it says the switch is kind of equipment ready to launch, but just... I'm not really sure, so... Apologies, I do have to sneeze right now too. <coughs> oh my goodness. So I think we did everybody's here. We've made these guys explode, which is pretty cool. Nice. Empire of Vietnam, oh god. Democratic Republic of Vietnam, oh that's so small. They're saying five divisions, oh it's not bad. Um, leave out two cavalry divisions, you know, make it three. Vietnam, Mao Zedong fucked. Don't let him move. Come on, come on, come on. God dang it, you ding dongs. Just get up here then. Mr. Management's pretty good. The trick is to just do this. If you can blow things. Oh my god, that's a lot of divisions. That is seriously a lot of divisions. Yeah, there's no way you can do that. Just, you need to just hold off now. You guys are doing okay though. Oh, North Vietnam's not bad. Um, 
Go ahead. See what you can do. Definitely better than what we can do here, though. It's fine. Make us look weak right there for now. It's fine. Whatever. Good. Just rushed her in. Especially with the cavalry. Uh, can we at least in circle division? That'd be great. Come on. Got it in here. Come on. God dang it, you couldn't. Uh, sucks. Um, so that su it sucks not being able to do a focus, but whatever. I'm most surprised that they're not actually attacking us. Are you the only division attacking? What the heck is the point? Can we actually send these guys more divisions, maybe? Hey, we another production unit, though. That's pretty nice. God dang, the game likes hard sometimes. Uh, yo, six. Oh. That should help us out. Alright, come back over to here. Praise, because we love Mao. Mau Mau is like a cat. Mau Mau. Uh, boom, boom. And boop. And boop. 100% there. Let's see. Stop. This one prayed. Increase 5% monthly. Red Twilight, remember that, please go right ahead. Cool. And the downtown's coming along very nicely, look at that. Very nice, it's very good. Oh God, are they doing general attacks? Why would you do that? I mean, maybe down here might be okay. But that just makes it much harder to get these divisions out of here too. Got it. Nice. So does that do anything for here at all? They won. Vietnam more expands. Put in reliable information. The Viet Minh troops have arrived in Hue, the capital of Vietnam, Japan. As launched a special military operation to reach an agreement with Vietnam and sending per military personnel, and Japan will send tens of thousands of Japanese soldiers to the battlefield of Vietnam. So it's reported that Luhan, the chairman of Yunnan province, supported the uh, call of his Japanese masters and officially declared war on the Viet Minh. Oh, crap. Oh, the guy's been killed. Oh, wow. Now I live by no guy. Eh, quartermaster general. It's not bad for him. Approve equipment and whatnot. It's good. I should go with that one then. Oh, another military. Yes. What are we lacking here? Support equipment? All right. Not bad. Can't believe we actually won in Red Tyler, no? Huh? Nice. Uh, what are we at for the economy then? 3.7. Oh, a little more money. Nice. Good. Let's go in hospital. would be pretty good. Um, I don't mind doing this one then. Slightly better. Dead GP ratio and whatnot, so. Go around them if you can, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Keep these guys in place, maybe, maybe not. So it is now February. Happy February, everybody. Come on. Oh, come on. Now our division is starting to get stopped. That's not good. Oh, the Japanese have shown up. God dang it. Do they not have? They must not have equipment or anything. 120,000 manpower stockpile, though. I don't believe they have very much. Uh, I 
improve. There's not much else we can do about that one. There's really not much we can do. Pause trade. There you go. We'll just stop wins at 30% anyways. That's fine. We don't want any issues. 5% and a few for a little more time. I almost forgot about him once. Light weapons. Empty tank. Huh. Ah. BC attack, huh? So these guys are leaving for independence of Vietnam. Imagine independence. The fat faltering establishment. A new phase. Wave of corruption. Buddhist crisis at at et. We also have ineffective Japanese military advisors. Good. The Tangled Royal Family. Vietnam. Vietnam Self-Defense Force, as well as Consolidation of the Countryside. Ooh, max attrition plus 100%. Wow. That's pretty strong. Now could you do this and go there? Oh, shh. Nikes are pushing us hard. That entrenchment is no laughing joke. Holy crap. But as long as we can circle them, that's all that really matters, right? Especially when these guys are like basically dead already. Happy February. There you go. Come on. You got this. Um, beginning of the month. Learn this trade. Lots of nothing. Trade. Stop. Trade. 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 Yeah, we blew them up. I think that's everybody. Just want to double check because I did miss uh, Hainan. Or Taiwan at one point, so. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. There you go. Go in. Ooh, just don't get in circle yourself. That would suck. Oh, well, those Granada. No one cares about them. New Granada and Victory. Mission of the Common Turn. Cool. Wow. Uh, offers of official membership. Gladly accept. Associate status? Uh, sure. Except for now. What are you guys over here doing? Very nice. God dang, was that costly or what? But whatever. By God, our boys are all beaten up, aren't they? He's like right all the way down to Saigon, maybe. Ah, nice. Temp tax like? Sure, why not? Growth looking pretty good though. Pretty good. Ah, what's this? Oh, the Communist International. Oh. Things always been glitchy. There we go. And we almost have them. There you go. Nice. We won. So these guys are separate. That's interesting. Thailand's separate too. Red Thailand, Republic of Thailand, Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Not bad. We actually got somewhere. Um, yeah, victory in the southeast. Awesome. And Hainan is no longer in disguise. We have a new focus after that too, maybe. Your trade, yeah. That's really cool. Invest it. It lowers our growth, but it doesn't add it to the debt, so. Oh, pay debt. Oh, we can't pay the debt. God dang it. Well, never mind then. We did it earlier. So, Kano resigns. Oh, look at that. Things are exploding. Nice. If I was Japan, I'd be a little pissed off, not gonna lie. Observer status extended. Um, if you want to go this, please go ahead. Yeah, that, that's pretty normal. Um, what do we have over here? Are there any major issues? 
Ordinary resolutions. Oh, I almost already done that one. That's been a of the living. Eliminate landlords. We already did that one. Um, we want trace reserves. Slight reduction. Remo remove reserve cost. Try that one. Oh, the Revolution Alliance of Southeast Asia established. Hainan Island in the South China Sea declared its secession from Japan. Hainan leader Feng Bai Kui visited Hanoi immediately after the Vietnamese Civil War and established an international organization called the Southeast Asia Revolutionary Alliance with Burma and Cambodia. The Communist regime in Northwest China strongly supported this and congratulated the people of Southeast Asia on their liberation. A spokesman for the Japanese Foreign Ministry said at a press conference that the Japanese government had no comment on the changes in Southeast Asia. This non-committal attitude sparked a heated debate within the Japanese government and among members of the Japanese society. The Maoists is no comment. So this one, you okay? So completing ordinary administrative resolutions get a little more political power, which we don't need. More growth, a better minimum wage. That's what I thought would happen. What I would say in the future, um, one thing that when we do all these like voting things, um, like if it says this, like it, effect of this proposal can be strengthened by doing a certain national focus. What I would recommend is just get rid of that and then just already add in the benefits, like remove reserve costs doesn't cost anything because it's it's hard to tell sometimes. So if you pass it, I would recommend if the devs are watching. I don't know if they are or not. But uh, like, just remove, like, just update it. Like, as soon as you pass it, just update it to what it really reflects to be. I think that'd be the best. Um. Oh, Thai Cambodian War. What? Oh, the upsetting change in the situation in Southeast Asia, especially the frequent victories of communist forces, have made the Thai government furious. In today's press conference, a military spokesperson publicly declared that the Japan security guarantees for allies such as the Indochina Peninsula are just empty words. Without any response from Japan's Nagata town, Thailand's openly withdrawn from the core prosperity sphere and mobilized its troops to eliminate the Red Bandits on the peninsula personally. Everything should be on its own. Oh, crap. Well, we're going back in, y'all. I guess we'll send this one, too. Send them all in. Happy May, though. Guangdong. Oh, Kyung Ya's column. Coalition government of the Philippines, huh? Look at this guy. Bountiful Ocean. Go to the southeastern Asia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nothing there. That's fine. Anything else going on that we really care about? Philippines? Improve? No, we're looking pretty good overall. Everyone's just trying to help each other out. Um, I could explode Thailand. That'd be really cool. But we can't. Uh, I'm not sure when the focus tree's supposed to update, though, too. Maybe just get through all the stuff first, so we'll see. Bing Biao's focus and whatnot. At the very least, just help defend here. Um, oh. Throw out that guy there, too. Guys, these guys are going to struggle greatly. The Revolution Alliance of Southeast Asia repels Thai invasion, totally not using Khan's commands. During the 54-day invasion war, Thailand failed to achieve any of its strategic objectives, losing both to the Cambodian security war and the all-out war against the enemy on all sides. The war has devastated Thailand's fragile economy with high inflation, inflation and shared debt and fierce anti-war sentiment in the country, with marching crowds demanding the end of the war and a better life for the people. Under much pressure, Thailand said negotiators reached a consensus with Vietnam, Burma, and Cambodia on a ceasefire agreement, a complete withdrawal of Thai troops from Cambodia, and the commitment to pay a certain amount of war reparations to the three countries. Intriguingly, the top leader representing the Cambodian government as a meeting was not Pol Pot, but Kyu Sampan. According to outside sources, may be related to the unilateral agreement that reached between uh, Cambodian with Grumman and other people like that. Congratulations to the winner, and we're going to get a slightly more increased in GDP. But we now have a unique focus to think, the frickin' lord. The Day of Labors. This year's International Labor Day is very significant. After five years of arduous construction struggle, the front has made great progress in all aspects of politics, economics, and military. Not only Western China has been unified under a banner, but the revolutionaries in Southeast Asia are also going uh, winning. On the occasion of this victoriously forward, the party in the front cited will hold the 9th National Congress of the party during the year. Also, we do have a uh, cup of, not coffee this time, but spice tea? Some sort of double chai spice tea, but prepare for the assembly. Unlike the small-scale underground national congresses of the past, now that the front has taken root in all regions of Western China, the size of the party and the scope of the base is not what they used to be. I must first hold a preparatory conference to closely plan the preparation of delegates from all regions to attend the conference in Yan'an. Oh, wow. 
deputies from Sichuan. Among the many border areas divided and ruled by the front, Xuan has been the, na the best natural conditions and the most superior industrial base. The representatives of the Chuan branch have, may have many have many advanced insights in economic construction, and the future when the whole country is liberated, the experience that they have accumulated in Chuan, while effectively guide the front in receiving the Japanese industrial heritage and successfully completing the important task of industrializing the whole country. Ordinary stuff. Oh, we finished it too. Nice. Where are we at? 7%. Oh, wow. I mean, I hate using cons commands, but, you know, sometimes you have to. Or we would have just, like, our economy literally would have exploded. Um, if we do that plenty of times, three times in total. So I increase inflation, but worse growth. I don't like that. Uh, we can do at least one more time. Just because, like, inflation right now is only 4.3%, which is not great, but we have enough growth that would be okay. Another joins a fold. Throughout history, the top crust of society oppressed a huddled. Yearning masses of workers call it a trouble chief, a noble, an emperor, or a CEO. There are the many iterations of one hateful concept, tyranny, not one against a particular group, although that has certainly happened. Against a downtrodden society, every single collection of human beings, the proletariat, where we once raise our eyes to the baking Mesopotamian horizon, hopeful for a future yet to come. We now stand tall and mighty amongst our peers, as today has proven we are only getting stronger. The vote to allow fellow socialist power to the commentators past, today's glorious day for the workers of the world, our movement is not an iron fist, gleefully beating against our oppressors until we attain freedom, it is a tide. A tide is a slow, almost unmoving, yet bit by bit it rises, slowly. It washes away all that stands against its goal until it stood, proud and triumphant. We are the tide drawn in the capitalists against all the money weapons they will throw at us. They will only slow down the inevitable, let them save the last few seconds of dominance, it will be their last. We cannot vote again until a month passes, then our advance starts anew. Now, how's this looking at you right now, too? Um... 3%, 3%, looking pretty good overall, 15, 20, nice, not bad, uh, cool, and Hainan, we're looking pretty freaking good, I'm not sure what the total is here, but we're, look, we're looking pretty good, and that'll work, with a writing desk, two popular chairs, a bright green covered lamp, with plus a stack of half meter high documents, that's the office of Zhu and Lai Bit Xian. The room is very large, which is to facilitate the reception of cadres, but more seemingly small furnishings inside the house, the house path empty. The late night is very late, the moon is high, the office dares not to open the lights. Only an apricot sized lamp to light up the writing desk, mosquitoes like a bomber reading through. The office lit up with mosquito incense, but the anti shock tape seal the window, which cannot breathe. The smoke choke is ooh and lie, is reviewing documents from time to time lightly, coughing a couple times. Call he from the deputy room. Zoo and Lion greeted the clerk. He sat across the writing desk, accompanied by reviewing the draft minutes of the meeting, the way in the consultation. Zoo and Lai received or reviewed one sentence at a time, and after reading one sentence, he used a pen to draw a small circle after that sentence. He did not browse once and forget it, but while reading and thinking, sometimes stopping to think about it, sometimes asking Zhao. He said a sentence or two. The night was very quiet, took quite a long time before Zhu and Lai finished reviewing it and handed the manuscript to Zhao He. Tomorrow morning to the printing room, remember the provincial cadres one copy. The clock struck three o'clock, and the night was still deep. The duty room attendants had two cups of black tea that must be prepared when saying a plate, plus a plate of peanuts, placed on the writing desk. Zhu and Lai asked the waiter to pour himself another cup, and three people gathered together to drink tea and eat peanuts. Twisting a peanut, two fingers uncontrollably crushed, Zhu and Lai muttered it in a low voice, I can't, I can't I bite a bit. The waiter and Zhao looked at each other, and uh, each understood something. If you sleep now, you must not be in the morning, and Zhu and Lai are meeting at 7, so the three people in intentionally set, uh, had small sips of tea, but the peanut ate clean early. Uh, the waiter's cup of tea was the first at the bottom, he saw Zhu and Lai sleepy, stood up, and the premier said, I'll let the kitchen prepare some supper. Zhu and Lai did not object. The waiter took away the empty ta plates and cups left without talking, taking the door. Zhao. He also got up. Premier, I'm going to deliver the documents. I guess I'll be back by 5 o'clock. Zhu and Lai nodded. Go ahead and have breakfast together when you return. Yes, sir. Dang, 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 dang. Deputies from Sikang. Although the Sikang region has been under the hope of transforming the border into a hinterland in the hands of successive rulers, the Rudo Han rules only had a side effect on local development. Now the party's policies achieve results among ethnic minorities. And before we let this go by, we'll praise them and kill this group off, basically. And time for another month, so we'll praise them again and kill off the moderate conservatives. As we have a sip of tea here, too. Ah, nice and hot. Nice and hot. The way we like it. Praise the work. 0.32 is still not great, but with that 6% growth, that's not bad. Oh, great. It's conspiracy. Oh, great conspiracy it will be. So these guys are united uh, down here. It's hard to tell because the colors are so pretty much the same, but. Uh, this one. Decrease growth, increase inflation. So basically 0.4 worse for growth. But get more liquid reserves, get a production unit. 0.3 billion. It's not bad. Oh. Oh, jet to GDP ratio. Death is not looking bad because we literally just annexed them all. Ah. 
Um, the divisions. Uh, let's take a look see here first. You guys are thirty combo. Those are some thickies, boys. How about this? We'll go with infantry here. Make them eighteen combo because we have support equipment as well, which is nice. We don't need this type of template. This template is not very good either. This is, oh, this is not bad. Oh, this is really not bad at all. Oh well. There you go. Then Biao, yes, please. We'll have cavalry divisions, which I don't mind editing, or when we get another type of template, I mean, it would be better to get. We'll see, 0.18. Well, let's wait and see what happens, because death to GDP ratio is better. Deficit's better, much more manageable, but there's really some Shangxi. As one of the earliest regions under full control when we entered Xi'an in 1947, Shangxi, especially the cities of Xi'an and Hangzhou, provided a considerable experience to draw upon in our attempts to explore socialist construction and long-term anti-Japanese construction. Not bad. 0.3%, huh? It's not very good for them, but that's alright with us. Arts policy? Look at that weekly stability. Come to remember, hurt of the Great Leap Forward. Need to consume good 60%. Jesus Christ, that's so bad. We almost have a road, though! Oh, what is this? Anything else? No, I don't care. Oh, happy August, everybody. I wonder why, wonder why the game was lagging. 3.21 in death, 3.27 is worse, but whatever. That's a 0.45 billion, and, but it's in green, which means it's okay. It's controllable. Deputies. Do we add some too? Our GDP is now 8.92 billion. Nice. So this template is 20 combo with this. Okay. Infantry template 5 is probably the superior one to go. 18. I should not have spent army speed doing that stuff, but whatever. You guys are 18 combo with. Because then you guys are 20 combo with now. It's a little better. 0.5 billion. GDP just skyrocketed. Debt to GDP ratio went way down. Nice. Well, these are improving finally, thank God. Oh my goodness, it took so long to get even a little better. And then we'll do deputies from the Northwest. After the rebellion of Ma's army, the central government focused on reconciling Han and Hui relations, formulating correct ethnic policies, and now practicing the principle of ethnic equality. And now it's time to reap the rewards, hopefully. The Iberian divorce. And there's another comment saying I should play as Miranda from in the Iberian Federation, which we might. Like, I've got several other because uh, we'll play this for quite a while. Uh, TNO at the time's recording. There's quite a few different nations I want to get to be playing as. Chong Chi. I wish we could annex these guys too. Yeah, on inspection number one. We have eaten the millet in the northwest for more than 20 years, and the Yanan that smells uh, the best. The prime minister is a southerner. I will inform the kitchen immediately if there's anything uncomfortable in the meal. I'm not used to it. Just follow your usual. The first half of the day's inspection was soon over, and Zhu and Lai and a group of par local party secretaries rushed back to the small cafeteria of Yanan City Hall on a minibus for lunch. Zhu and Lai understood that the meal had been arranged for him by the dietitian in the local mini cafeteria. He still tried his best to save face with the leading cadres in the car who thought they were safe and sound, not to irritate them for seeing things they shouldn't be seeing during their inspection. The winner pushed open the small door of the cafeteria, bright and translucent under the large windows set up around two ta round tables and a dozen pair of dishes. Meals have been served to ensure that a line of people to the ground to start eating. A plate of staple food, half of the rolls and half of the bun are white flour. A plate of cumin lamb, salt material used very thinly. A plate of sauce, casserole fish, light sauce. Vegetarian dishes were sweet and sour, shredded potatoes and cold cucumber pepper shreds. Near the door on the cupboard, swatting a steaming pot of lump soup. Looking at the table full of dishes, Zhu and Lai's heart like a pincer kept pinching him. Even the company leader's smiling face cannot be pleased to sit down. Gesture to the group to sit down and eat first. Next page. We have liberated uh, the whole country in the future. The economic construction of the base areas cannot be slackened, and the trust of the people in us cannot be wasted. All the people at the table were just eating, and no one dared to answer the words that Zhu and Lai threw out. Zhu and Lai could not hold back any longer. The words repressed, and his heart finally flowed out like a machine gun. Secretary Jim told me that Yanan is poor in the north and rich in the south, but today I went to Gao Khan, and uh, the situation is not optimistic. A glance at the village shows that some of the masses have no food or clothes to wear, and this is still a situation in the rich country as you call it. 
Zuin Law shook his head very painfully, backhanded a roll up from the primary food plate, and took it trembling to each cadre who buried his head in the hard work of eating in front of his eyes. The sound of utensils chiming slowly stopped, and the hands that were pinching the food rest turned to their original positions. A small cateen was usually unusually quiet. Wow. A county party secretary shivered, the chopsticks on the rim of the bowl were touched to the ground, but he could not bother to pick them up. A secretary of Ansai said that the road to his place has to be maintained today, and advised me not to go to inspect it at this afternoon, so as to save the car from making a trip for nothing. I accept your kindness. I will tell everyone that I'm not going anywhere this afternoon. Just sit here and do not move. Zu and Lai's speech is getting louder and louder, so much so that he even realized that he hurriedly took a breath, a deep breath, to suppress his belly full of fire, and ruthlessly used a consultative tone to his room of people to make a request. Put down that baggage in your heart. The central government will not blame you, nor will it make things difficult for you. Only if you are honest with me, I can solve the problem. I gave you one afternoon. The production, the life problems, the counters. Seriously, type a report to me, okay? Just keep eating. So we're done with that one, too. So now, doing all these reforms, I don't feel bad about doing some of this stuff, but, like, getting uh, spending a, lot, a little bit of debt? I'm okay with that now, since we have so much more room. Earlier, we really had, like, no room, and I had these consequences, which sucked. Because we were forced to do all sorts of stuff. 5% growth is still not bad. Inflation is pretty high, though. 5%, ugh. And don't ask about inflation in modern day, but up there is that. extended. There's that one. Um, so we'll see what happens. Oh, and we must be done here. Look at the downtown. That's really cool. I like that. I love this. Uh, this mod, you know, I have my problems with this mod, but it's it's so good. I, I love it a lot. I love the idea of all of this stuff going on. It's great. I love what the devs have done. But deputies from Xinjiang. In the three years since the end of the civil war in the Xinjiang, Meryl... General Ma Zongying has been the de facto ruler, and the fact that he has now gone out of his way to attend the conference with a large group of Xinjiang people show that he has always been a staunch supporter of the reunification of the motherland. Deputies from Tibet, after the liberation of Tibet, the Tibetan people set off a vigorous socialist transform transformation movement, and in the week of their advanced contacts afterwards, Premier Zhu and Lao would understand the difficult problems of present-day involvement in Tibet to make suitable adjustments to the transformation. Central Ministries Meeting. After dealing with local affairs, Premier Zhu and Lai also had to summarize the situation with the leading cadres at all levels of the central government. Um, no, no effect, no effect. These have no effects, which suck. Department of Foreign Trade? Oh, is this not done yet? Oh, these are all, maybe these are not all done. Interesting. Good news. Well, following Chairman Mao is the direction, following Chairman Mao is the light of the darkness, following Chairman is a victory. All the people in the PLA and their base area are infinitely loyal to the Supreme Leader Chairman Mao, infinitely loyal to the invincible Mao Zedong thought, infinitely loyal to Chairman, Chairman Mao's revolutionary line. How Chairman Mao and his old, com, his old man commanded, how we will act. Chair Chairman Mao is ahead, Vice Chair Lin as a deputy of the command, how to deploy, how we will follow closely. Victory Request for sick leave. Zhu Lin, why didn't Comrade Xiaoping come to the meeting today? Premier Deng Xiaoping broke his leg in the past few days and couldn't walk, so I'm really sorry for not being able to talk to you in that time. For what? Premier. I asked Deng Xiaoping to speak to, be, speak to you personally, and he asked me for a microphone, okay? Premier Zhu, I am very sorry. I, I delayed this meeting for personal reasons. I should take I should make a review. Why are you sick? Premier, did Li, Li Zhanyan speak at the meeting? I want to speak of things in advance to him. He did. Oh, good. Then why'd you fail? Or fall? It's not easy to talk. Two days ago, I went to this activity room to play billiards and fell out the t billiard table and dislocated my thigh. Ooh, I love thighs. Anyways, Dr. Fu can testify. Oh, well then. You have to make up the sick leave then. Uh, you have two more meetings in the back and must take, in, must take it in advance. Yes, Premier. Uh, uh, my Prime Minister, definitely make up. The view doesn't need to be made public. As we're still improving in poverty, which is less than 90% of our population is poverty. Or in poverty. Um, GDP is looking okay. That GDP ratio is not bad. We did invest a negative 0.3 billion um, into the uh, growth, so there's that. <laughs> Just because, and we're going to do it again because we need to get definitely a hospital and school. It, it might be a little important, you know. A hospital and school for the people. Eh, you know, it, it, it might be. It might be needed. But happy December, everybody. It's 1968, almost 1969. Um, so, we will see as we auto save. Oh, I love praising Mel. Trying to modernize this. Yeah, you bet we are. So point one. Can't can't criticize them anymore. Darn it. Oh, I love criticizing people. Oh wait, I forgot about this stuff too. Oh crap. Well, that's not good. Um. Let's stop for now. We also need to suspend it eventually too. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, stop. Stop for a month or so. We'll suspend stuff too. It's fine. Ah, future again, my friends. Future again. Suggest holding a briefing on reaching friendly relations between China and the U.S. in, uh, uh, in five years, inviting the head of central ministers or ministries and commissions and major military regions to attend and updating them on the situation occurring in the U regarding the U.S. Seeing that Qi Yun came into the living room with something to say, Secretary Yu, who was reading the notice for Lin Biao, stopped his uh, voice and got up and left silently after Yi Kun signaled to him to go out. The company's main business is to provide a wide range of products and services to the market. 
As expected, you kun complain at the outset, no matter what meeting is held, it is not always Zhu and Lai who makes a splash. He craned his neck and stood up from the side of Yi Kun and began to pace around the room, slowly saying as he walked, He's not going to the meeting, are you? I said, How come you have no, re no reaction at all? The, foreign, the Ministry of Foreign Trade has gone on board with Americans. Zhu and Lai and the Americans have to deal with sooner or later will be unlucky. I'm not talking about that, I mean, why don't you help your son find an errand from the inside? Hearing this, Liao Ben directly for us, I thought you. I thought about it. The United States diplomatic matter cannot let Zhu and Lai, a personal, take. Uh, to person take all the credit, our family must also have a shirt. Your son is not good at learning English. Directly to the mi Ministry of Foreign Trade is a diplomat. Well, the time is to talk about what is counted for. Is this a good thing to add glory and color in the future? If the liberation, we can also go to the U.S. with our son. How good? Yu Kun's words exceeded the sum of information Lin Biao had received in the past, and he rubbed his dry, thin chin, his head dizzy with a thousand questions. Will his own son's work, diplomacy work? What if it doesn't? If not, you can practice it and let Lu Zhu and Lai personally lead. Success is all mine. In the future, to fight a big war. The army's in a place of permanent peace. Diplomacy is a good place to go. Can not, but must become. Twenty somethings was held up as diplomats. Still not bad. Um, so, yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm not sure we have anything here. But I guess we'll see. Good news. No of country for old well. men. The bright and flashing spotlights were a great source of entertainment in the brains of the delegates. The people's faces were smiling, their hands were clapping, and they were shouting like a tsunami to celebrate the great victory of the front in these three years. Zhu and Lai sat on the delicate table, seemingly as secure as the future of the front, for a moment. He suddenly felt that everything around him was unfamiliar. The lights were so blinding. Then Xi Ding, who was speaking beside him, did not know who he was. He looked to his left and right, overwhelmed by the clamor in all directions, a script trembling and control in his hands, along with the Chinese Communist Party. The sudden slogan frightened Zhu and Lai, who was wandering in a trance, and his body was electrocuted. And his heart could not stop beating suddenly. He vaguely remembered that he had to dye his hair, dye black, not true, or wear a head covering it a little better. The old look cannot meet people. Thinking of this, the head with the white hair seemed like a thousand pounds, with a light torso tilted to the left. Chen Yi noticed the difference and rushed to hold while softly calling out, Premier, what happened to you? Premier, to turn. Lin Biao did not twist his face squarely, both arms crossed on the conference table, with a program smile on his face to remind him. Zun Lai's eyes were staring straight ahead. The anger on his face was gradually drained, leaving him only mute and stiff. His mouth rambling on and on about something, he stood up with two bamboo-like legs. The speech had fallen out of his hand, but now he just he was at least remembered what he could, should do. The room had fallen sun. The eyes of hundreds of delegates were directed at him. The unprecedented pressure was added to his body. This made his teeth close, bringing them more and more ragged without saying a word, and the delegates confronted until a uh, roll up collapsed with a crash. Until like a roll Call the doctor, hurry. Eventually they'll be gone, and the future of China is uncertain. Oh, is this it? Is that it? Really? What the heck? Okay, so thank you for playing uh, the TNO that East is Red. A lot of work has been done in the month thanks for a team. Without your play, it would have been nothing, especially if I don't put this on the, ch on the channel, which. You know, I don't have a huge audience, but if, to those of you still watching, thank you. I appreciate it. It's awesome. You can find it on the Discord as well. It will be continuously updated, including but not limited to bug fixes, patch releases, and constant updates. The third phase of this final decade, of the first decade, Liberation War and establishing the new China Kanto will be updated later in 2023. Oh, God. Is it? And the next decade, we'll see you in a promising future. It's over? Really, bro? I wanted to go to war. What the heck? Oh, my God. I know this is still in development, but not, and I have issues with this mod. You know, just a little bit. Like, you know, I like I always do. I have issues with every mod, but like I love what's here. Obviously, I had trouble early on, and I use cons commands throughout this to like tweak things. But I know this mod's going to get improved and better, and better, and better. This is originally in Chinese, so like the English translations are not bad. You can mostly understand what's going on here, but I've really enjoyed this. This is awesome. I love playing as you know Papa Mao and uh, just seeing what we can do here to maybe reclaim China in this version of TNO, which is, I think is awesome. Um, the gang's all here, ready to have a good old time. Too bad we didn't have our own faction. That'd be really cool. Like, all of this part of China and then Southeast China, Asia as well, kind of united to fight the Japanese. I love this. I love this so much. I love the submods for Tino usually, but hey, I would, if you've not tried this mod out or submod out for Tino, I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Also, in the future, if you're still watching, um, please let me know in the future, like, when this mod gets updated, because I'd like to come back and play this more. But in the meantime, we kind of have to leave it there. Hello. I'm not sure in first color division. Um, but hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, look at the smiling man. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, we have increasing the administrative efficiency in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.